space experts have found, utilizing our new 10 billion toy, the leave plan a very long time before that task turns into a reality. On the off chance that it goes according to plan, the excursion to Proxima will require around 20 years. So all things considered, it will be quite a few years before we can affirm assuming there is to be sure life on that planet. The deep-rooted question, would we say we are genuinely alone in this universe? The James Webb Telescope has found some unervingly humanesque things a long ways off from Earth, driving us nearer to the military response. Our quest for life beyond us has been widespread all through every human development, to such an extent that we have a great many media, writing, and speculations regarding this matter. Our miracle with respect to our place and dejection in the universe has been steady, as though it is imbued within us to constantly look for a friend, regardless of how outsider-like. Indeed, we could actually be finding increasingly close to the solutions we genuinely care about. However, would they say they are genuinely the responses we are searching for? Or on the other hand, would they say they are significantly more scared? Go along with us as we investigate the most recent revelation in the domains of universes and planets on the journey to find something we could possibly not be ready to observe. Lights. A long ways off, researchers have found what could be the most earth-shattering disclosure ever. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to send off, an extremely fascinating speculative inquiry was raised about the capacities of our innovation. The inquiry was whether, later on, our telescopes could recognize fake light on another planet. For instance, Proxima b. Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth, is in the livable zone of our closest neighbor, the small star Proxima Centauri, around 4.25 light years away. Since the exoplanet was multiple times closer to its star than Earth is from the Sun, Proxima b was accepted to be tidally locked with a super durable day side and night side like our moon. A speculative innovative human progress on Proxima b could move intensity and power from the day side to the night side utilizing photovoltaic cells that produce power out of starlight. Consequently, in a paper with Manas Lingham as one of the scientists, it was shown that huge inclusion of the day side by sunlight-based chargers could be recognized with future telescopes. Since JWST was further developed, it would permit us to expand our quest for counterfeit lights to livable exoplanets like Proxima b. Presently, in 2024, it is conceivable that the James Webb Space Telescope did precisely that. Utilizing its higher responsiveness and greater scope of capacities, the JWST could have found the lights we were searching for and conceivably flung us into one more huge flood of human advancement. On the whole, let us jump into the universe of planets and exoplanets to figure out how this was even conceivable. James Webb's central goal investigates Proxima Centauri's privileged insights. Over the entire course of time, people have pondered the idea of the universe. What are we? Where do we come from? Also, where do we go? These are normal yet very troublesome inquiries man has attempted to reply when he acquired awareness. Presently, in the time of dramatic mechanical progression, one contemplates whether we are any nearer to any of the above questions. On the off chance that you would ask a thinker, he would most likely say we are currently at level zero of figuring out ourselves and the universe. Notwithstanding, ask a space expert exactly the same thing, and watch him bounce around in fervor as he hurries to let you know the most recent revelation people made about the universe utilizing their clever apparatuses. These devices, albeit not gave a lot of consideration to by the normal public, are straightforwardly a sign of human development itself. We currently have the world readily available, and it is time we push ahead and get the universe readily available also. One such method for doing that has been concluded by researchers and stargazers. It is through the innovation we saddle. A particular making of that said innovation is currently answerable for the new revelation of what could light on an alternate planet light years away. Indeed, we're discussing the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation conceived out of the traditions of human campaigns into space to address a few ever introduced questions. Would we say we are separated from everyone else? Who is out there? Where do we start and where do we end? Indeed, this infrared stargazing instrument has proactively started responding to these inquiries, albeit to some degree. Indeed, first you could wind up asking what even is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b, or just Proxima b, is once in a while alluded to as Alpha Centauri b. It is a super-Earth and it circles a M-type star. 
Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more monstrous than Earth yet lighter than ice goliaths like Neptune and Uranus. They are genuinely stand out. They can be comprised of gas, rock, or even a mix of both, and their sizes can change from two times the size of Earth the entire way to multiple times its mass. They truly put thee in super-Earth, huh? Concerning Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, implying that a planet crosses outside the planetary group. The absolute first conceivable proof of an exoplanet was viewed as in 1917, despite the fact that it figured out how to work up little interest and acknowledgement. Be that as it may, in 1992 the main affirmed identification happened, which left researchers stunned. Another exoplanet, an alternate one which was first recognized in 1988, was affirmed in 2003. As of the 1st of April 2024, there are 5,653 affirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary frameworks. Out of them, 896 frameworks had more than one planet. These grand revelations are circling a M-type star at the present time. To make sense of the M-type star, you really want to figure out the red diminutive person. A red smaller person is the littlest sort of star in the primary succession, subsequently the name. In the adjoining locales of the sun, red midgets are by a wide margin the most well-known kind of star to be tracked down in the smooth manner. They have extremely low iridescence. Also, since iridescence is one of our principal apparatuses for planet discovery and different sorts of allowances, red diminutive people are not that simple to notice. The slippery stars have variable definitions and names relying upon their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M smaller person or M type primary grouping stars yield a greatest temperature of 3900K, consequently getting their name and qualities. Returning to Proxima b, its mass is known to be identical to 1.07 Earths. Strangely, it just requires 11.2 days to finish one circle of its star contrasted with our 365.25 days. You can gauge the size of the star Proxima b is circling. Incredibly, under the estimation of the whole electromagnetic range, the star has an all-out radiance of just around 0.16% that of the sun. Also, in the noticeable light range, its radiance appears to dull much more as it seems fainter. It just enlightens 0.056% of the sun's iridescence in the noticeable light range, transmitting a fundamentally less measure of light energy when contrasted with the sun. More than 85% of its produced energy is as infrared radiation. Circling around 0.0 for 856 Australian dollars away from its star, Proxima B's disclosure was declared way back in 2016. You may be asking why Proxima B? A huge number of stars, planets, and systems, so for what reason would we say we are so focused on this specific heavenly body? Indeed, there are a couple of reasons that add to the distinct fascination cosmologists have here. Proxima b, most importantly, is the nearest known star to our sun and by definition, us. Albeit 4.2 light years is a major number to us earthlings, in the fantastic plan of the universe, it is a simple blip. Thus why Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high up on the need list. Right now, it is likewise a piece of the triple star framework called Alpha Centauri. Furthermore, in spite of the fact that Proxima b's iridescence is exceptionally low, the actual framework shows up as perhaps of the most splendid star grouping in the night sky, just behind two others called Sirius and Canopus. Nonetheless, the most fascinating thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it could possibly be tenable since it falls under the livable zone. The conceivable outcomes encompassing this star are unending, and hence, Cosmologists have taken on the undertaking to investigate the profundities and cutoff points of the capability of the star. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. As the JWST proceeds with its investigation of the said exoplanet, we get increasingly close to the consummation of these missions. From SETI to exoplanets, looking for outsider life, so what precisely is SETI? Taking into account that people have forever been an inquisitive animal varieties, Sticking and pushing into, in a real sense, everything without exception that moves and doesn't move, it's a good idea that a journey like SETI appeared on such an enormous scope. Envision that God has coordinated a fabulous, enormous expedition yet with a curve. Rather than gold, we are entrusted to be watching out for signals, all the more explicitly electromagnetic murmurs from developments beyond anything we could ever imagine. SETI is short for Quest for Extraterrestrial Insight, 
and it is our aggregate work to recognize indications of smart life prowling in the midst of the stars. Our interest continues forever, right? Way back in the mid-1900s, not long after radio innovation came into human use, virtuosos like Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi concocted a novel thought. They really hoped for utilizing these novel contraptions to make a genuine connection with the stars, straightforwardly. Tesla even ventured to fancy the thought of visiting it up with Martians utilizing his remote transmission framework. Quick forward to the swinging 60s, and we end up amidst Task Osmo, the brainchild of the brave cosmologist Plain Drake. Outfitted with a powerful radio telescope and a solid portion of interest, Drake filtered the grandiose wireless transmissions for indications of something going on under the surface. Yet, unfortunately, his endeavors came up with nothing. However courageous, the hunt went ahead, with researchers all over the planet tuning in their radio wires to the astronomical ensemble. In the meantime, over in the Soviet Association, our companions across the Iron Shade were likewise enthused about the astronomical prattle. Driven by the celebrated Iosif Shklovsky, Soviet researchers turned their radio wires heavenward looking for those tricky transmissions from the stars. Furthermore, consequently, the stage was set for a grandiose confrontation. Yet pause, what's this? A strange sign got through the vast commotion, bringing the jabber and nerves up to a record-breaking high. Named the goodness signal, it sent shockwaves through established researchers. As the years moved by, the quest for grandiose buddies just escalated. From the bag set to the pompous task Cyclops, researchers went all out in their journey to disentangle the grandiose mystery. And afterward, in a fortunate turn of events or maybe destiny, a coded radio transmission from Mars graced our Hubble telescopes, lighting the flares of interest again. In any case, what does that investigation truly resemble now, and how far have people progressed regarding space campaigns? Lights on Proxima B in a 2021 exploration paper named Perceptibility of Fake Lights from Proxima B, specialists Elisa Taba and Abraham Lib set off on a mission to research the potential for identifying counterfeit lights starting from the clouded side of Proxima B. Since Proxima B is a planet situated in the livable zone of its star, the review planned to survey whether Proxima B could possibly support smart life and how to identify it. In the wake of featuring Proxima B's importance as an objective in the quest for extraterrestrial life, they developed a succulent yet to some degree startling subtlety, the new speculative radio transmission identification from Proxima B's course. It's not later, as it was gotten yesterday, yet when your area of exploration is strict space where data requires light years to travel, everything is a forward leap, creating a huge buzz among the science and stargazing fan local area. The conditional radio transmission added one more layer of stunningness, yet a thrilling secret that space experts can hardly hold back to reveal. The transmission was identified by the Advancement Listen Project and addresses a possible contender for an extraterrestrial radio emanation beginning from the area of Proxima Centauri, the host star of Proxima B. The Advancement Listen Project, sent off in 2015, meant to study the sky for signals demonstrative of mechanical civic establishments past Earth. It is for the sake of getting through the obstructions of room and tuning in for any kind of organization. By utilizing cutting-edge radio telescopes and information examination methods, the undertakings can see areas of the electromagnetic range looking for odd transmissions that can't be promptly made sense of by normal peculiarities. This search happened for quite a while. On account of the speculative radio transmission from Proxima B, the story is very valuable. Cosmologists dealing with the undertaking identified a narrowband discharge at a recurrence of roughly 982 MHz. This recurrence falls inside the reach ordinarily connected with counterfeit radio transmissions, for example, those utilized for correspondence purposes on the planet. It was a thrilling revelation that made the way for an entirely separate range of potential outcomes. Despite the fact that the notice sign has not been convincingly ascribed to an extraterrestrial beginning and may have elective clarifications, the disclosure is as yet a huge outcome in mankind's set of experiences. With the sign set up, presently came an opportunity to survey the call. The Advancement Listen Group completely led follow-up perceptions as well as information investigation to examine the sign further. The objective was to evaluate its probability of being of extraterrestrial beginning. Albeit the sign has been investigated to the sun and back, authoritative ends are impractical as of now. 
The huge void space we call the universe isn't generally so basic as we would like. One thousand intricacies, aggravations, and obstructions from earthly sources can and will mutilate the outcomes. Concerning cosmologists, they can't push ahead with twisted results, since space undertakings need outrageous accuracy on each part and huge load of cash to be executed effectively. Committing an error in view of an uncertain response is simply impossible yet.